Hello, All-Star Volunteer, and welcome to a quick orientation video. Here at Southern Hills, we desire three things with our kids' ministry. First, we desire to be Christ-centered, and then family-focused, and child-targeted. And in All-Stars, you might notice that we have a little bit of a sports theme going on. That's why I might refer to you as a coach, or maybe I refer to this large room right here as the locker room or our small group room as a huddle room. Now your job is to get here and to get here early. We actually don't want you to begin in small group time, but we want you here for our large group time, and even at that, to be here early to welcome the kids. So when you get here, put on your name tag that will identify you as a volunteer and make your way into the room. In here, we want you to engage with the kids. In fact, if I were to give you one word to describe your job as a volunteer in All-Stars, it is to engage. We want you to engage at the beginning through play. So maybe that means that you play some Foursquare, or you play the different games around the room, maybe even jumping on one of those video games. Or maybe for you, it means that you just pull a kid aside and ask them about their day, talking with them, or maybe you, you do a little coloring. But at the beginning, you just engage, and then there'll be a countdown on the screens, and we'll begin, and we want you to spread out amongst the kids, and have a seat. And then in here, we'll have our large group time. During large group, we worship, we do some skits, and open up the Bible and learn. And so during that time, we want to make sure that our kids stay engaged. And so for you, that means that maybe you ask the kid beside you, hey, did you hear that? And that might re-engage them in what's going on. Because we don't want to discipline from the stage. It's very intimidating to a kid. Now on stage, we might from time to time address the whole group, but we're not gonna call out little Billy and say, Billy, pay attention. That's one of your jobs as a volunteer. So just continually engage the kids. And also, we love it when the kids see you worship. They follow your example. And so during our praise and worship time, if you want to dance around, dance around. But just make sure you are aware that all the time, these kids are following your example. They're watching you and learning from you. So we do this large group time in here, and then we'll dismiss and we'll head to our small group time. And in small group, Again, if I were to say, you have one word to describe your job, again, it is to engage. And so in small group, I'm going to give you small group materials. Those materials can be found in your mailbox, they can be found on the Southern Hills webpage under the Kids Ministry tab, or even on our Lead Small app. But these materials, you can see an example right here, they let you know exactly what to do. And we're going to provide every material for you. So for instance, here it says beanbag. You don't need to worry about getting beanbags. We will get them for you. And if you want to do something different, we just ask for you to give us a heads up. Let me know if you want to do something with slime because you never know. The kids might have a slime allergy or something, and I just want to make sure that everything stays safe. So just let me know if you want to do anything different. And this room right here is your small group room. And so if you want to put some creative, unique pictures on the wall, go for it. Just keep in mind, there are other services that use the same room, and so you might need to keep it tidy from time to time. And over here, let's see, we have markers and crayons and everything that you're going to need. And there's also a binder. Each room in the binder, there's attendance, there's our staff manual, there's just all kinds of stuff. So the attendance is for you. I keep track of attendance digitally, but if you want to track and see which of your kids are coming, taking attendance is a great thing. And then um, if you need a HUD of materials, you can check something right there and I'll get them for you. Uh, tons of questions in here for you to ask the kids. And like I said, this manual, take a minute or maybe 10, review so that you know exactly what you need to do as a volunteer. Very, very important stuff. And let's see, we also have a couple of other sheets in here, such as a incident report, and you can see more about how to follow, follow, how to fill that out. We have the, hey parents, tell us about your few. We just have all kinds of stuff in here, newsletters, all kinds of information. So check this out. This book is for you, and it is a great resource. 
So let's see, you've gone through your materials, parents are almost getting ready to get here. I would suggest taking a couple of minutes to make sure that prayer is always an aspect of your small group time. Ask the kids for prayer requests. And again, just engage with them. Learn about their life. And then while parents are getting, picking up their kids and you're exchanging name tags, making sure that the right kids go with the right parents, maybe you have the kids review one of the games or maybe they've come up with a game themselves. I know they love Hangman and different games like that. And while the parents are picking up their kids and you're checking, making sure every kid gets with the right parent, this is a great time for you to engage with the parents, actually. You can say, hey, I noticed this week that little Sally just did such a great job with our worship time. Or, hey, Billy prayed during our larger group time. How cool is that? That's a great thing. All right, let's walk down this side of the hall. This is where the boys' rooms are in the, the dugout. And while we're walking through here, I'm just going to let you know about a couple of things with communication. I want to make sure that we understand what's going on with each other. And so, so for instance, if you're going to be absent, let us know as soon as possible. Maybe you wake up sick, just shoot us a text. If you're planning a vacation, send us an email. Whatever it is you need to do, just let us know as soon as you know when you're going to be out. And you can always communicate with your coordinator. You can communicate with me or other staff. Also, we have deacons and elders. There's a lot of ways to communicate. Sometimes it might just be a quick text or maybe give us a call. And as far as meetings go, we have one annual all-team meeting for all of our kids' ministry volunteers. It's in January. I really want you to be at that. It is very important. Now, here is your room teacher resources. We have mailboxes here for our all-star volunteers. We have different extra activities. If you ever need like extra coloring sheets or something for today's lesson, you'll find them right there. Also, we understand you might need some coffee. So come on over, grab, grab a coffee and uh, that's there for you. And then there's also just tons of other resources in here. If you ever were to need like sponges for that extra sponge relay game you were gonna do, just ask, um, we can help you out or look for it yourself. All right. This has been a quick and easy video for you, I hope. But before we go, I did want to let you know what it looks like for you to win. So you win when you engage with the kids and their parents so much that what they learn here at church matters throughout the week. If you can do that, that is a win. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I enjoyed hanging out with you. And as a little reward, if you don't have an all-star shirt, just shoot me a message and say, hey, I watched the video and I'd love a shirt. Let me know what size and I will get it to you. I'll even put it in your mailbox. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad that you are on our team.